Pittsburgh State University is saying adios to the French and Spanish majors, leaving many students disappointed. I, I really believe that it's an embarrassment. The decision was made due to the decrease in students declaring these major options and even fewer graduating. But what is the reason for the disinterest in an increasingly global community? Low exposure to the material in the primary years could be partially to blame. I, th I think learning languages is much easier when you're younger. and There's research to support that, um, that, that as you get older, um, it becomes much more difficult. Students who have already declared a major in French or Spanish are able to continue on to graduation. PSU senior Clark Neal will receive his degree, but he feels sympathy for future students who share his passion. I'll be okay since I'm a Spanish major. They're grandfathering me in, but I really feel for the people who won't have an opportunity to learn this language because it's already put me ahead in the job market. Pittsburgh High School has its share of foreign language hopefuls. Senior Gavin Wood began studying French as a child and it was his goal to pursue a degree at PSU. Since the change, however, he has chosen to put aside his passion and pursue a local degree in music. Yeah, I was, I was planning on pursuing a uh, French degree and now I can't do that. International student Michael Wilchie was raised in Venezuela. In his country and others around the world, children are encouraged to become bilingual at an early age. Well, I learned English when I was a kid. In his culture, foreign language is looked upon as an advancement, and he feels that there would be an increase in interest among North American college students if they were exposed at an earlier age. I don't understand why an early age would not be given the opportunity to learn music and languages. Not in summer like middle school, by the time it's already a little bit harder for kids and the way to develop themselves. USD 250 has made attempts to incorporate an earlier learning age. I think they have done some after school programs and some enrichment programs with Spanish in some of the um, elementary schools, so that's a good start. Unfortunately, it was restricted to a small number of children on an inconsistent basis. While there are currently no plans to attempt an earlier exposure age in USD 250, Pittsburgh High School foreign language teacher and PSU graduate Angela Garner feels it's never too late to try something new. It would be interesting to have a foreign language option as a special, like math, or not math, like music and physical education are specials during the day when you're in elementary school and even if it was just twice a week getting that exposure to a foreign language would be wonderful. For GTV, I'm Jessica Ruiz.